Hello and welcome to IES. This short video will show you how to onboard using IES's Employee Self-Service Tool, also known as ESS. In the email we sent to you, click on the Apply link. You will see some basic job information. From here, click Continue. If you're new to IES, you will create a new profile. If you've worked with us before, welcome back. Enter your credentials and get started. Creating a new profile is easiest if you upload a resume. Do this by clicking Select Resume File. Our system will take the data from your resume and enter it into your application so you don't have to. Please review the data and correct if needed. Create a password before moving on. You'll be asked a few questions for government reporting purposes before finishing the registration process. Click Continue. After creating your profile, click on My Account for the real fun to begin. This is your personal employment profile page in ESS. The items listed under Open Tasks are action items for you. For example, Task number one action item is to click to review the employee handbook. Click start to perform the action item. A new web page may open. Always remember to turn to this page and click complete. Then move to the next action item. To view your completed task, click the tab at the bottom. Depending on the speed of the internet, it may be helpful to move things along by clicking this reload button. When you get to the final stages of your onboarding, you will be asked to electronically sign your application and other IES policies. Please be careful to review your accuracy and correct if any errors. You will eventually see your signed document appear in My Documents. If your position requires drug screening, you'll be able to select the closest facility for your convenience. This information will be emailed to you directly from the provider. Please remember to take this with you for your appointment. You'll know you're finished with onboarding when there are no open tasks left. Once you've been authorized to start your first assignment, You'll receive an email letting you know to return here for instructions on how to submit your time card and safety instructional videos. And remember, at any time if you need help, we're only a phone call away. We look forward to working with you.